It is so easy to get distracted when working from home. And so in the last seven years of working from home, something that I've learned is that it's really important to have a pre-work from home routine. This is something that I do before I start to work on creative tasks like editing video or sorting footage or just anything that really requires my extended focus. Basically, I start by getting ready like I'm gonna go out. I take a shower, I wash my face, do my hair, and then I put on clothes that aren't too comfortable because if I'm not wearing pants, I find it does not help my productivity. Then I make myself a cup of coffee. I like it with a splash of almond milk and not too sweet. I also like to wear a pair of headphones just to block out noise. I do live with other people in the house and hearing what they're doing can be a big distraction and break my focus. So whatever your clock in ritual is, imagine if it was cut short by a power outage. I live in South Florida and the power grid is usually reliable, but we are prone to hurricanes and tropical weather which can knock out the power. It's situations like these where I can rely on today's sponsor, Growat, to not let my work from home ritual be interrupted by something like a power outage. Growat is known for its power inverter technology and it's taking its expertise in that field and bringing it over to the power station space. Growat sent me their Infinity 1500 power station and I'm going to test whether it can handle my work from home routine even during an unexpected power outage. This power station can be used as a UPS or uninterruptible power supply. This is my work from home setup that I've mocked up in the studio. With a 20 millisecond switchover, your devices will continue to stay powered immediately when the power goes out. So as long as I keep my desk set up and my devices plugged into the power station, and then I keep the power station plugged into the wall, it'll switch over immediately. <laughs> and in situations of a power outage like this, I will keep my sensitive work open so you don't lose your work you don't lose sense of information so you'll definitely be using the ups feature for that reason and i forgot to make coffee we're making espresso Now that I got my coffee, let's see how much power my setup uses. My setup consists of a 34 inch ultra wide monitor, a MacBook Pro, an LED desk lamp, and since I'm in a stuffy room, I also have a circulating fan. There are also four USB-A ports, two of which support 18 watt fast charging. I'll plug in my coffee mug warmer here. I can connect my MacBook Pro directly into the USB-C port for power. Each port will output up to 60 watts of USB-C power delivery, so you can fast charge a smartphone or tablet too. There's also a 12 volt car cigarette lighter. Growbot thought of everything because there's even a wireless charging pad right on top of the unit, so I can just throw my phone on there and recharge. Using this setup that I showed you with the fan turned on, I'm using about 130 watts of power, and that should equal about 10 and a half hours of usage before the battery runs out using the power station. And remember, that's after I made my espresso, making the coffee and steaming the milk, I only used about 5% capacity from the power station. Once the power does come back, the Infinity 1500 power station does support really fast charging through AC current. So it will pull about 1500 watts of power and the first 80% will take about an hour and a full charge takes about two hours. So that means less time waiting for a recharge. There are other charging options as well. The Growat power station includes a DC power adapter, so you can use your car's cigarette lighter to charge it up. Or if you get the optional solar panels, the wiring is included for those as well. And if you have enough of them, you can actually recharge the power station in about two and a half hours, making this an ideal solution for extended power outages. The backlit display will show you all the critical information you need to know while the unit is working. Now, this is the MyGrow app. So when you get the app set up, you're gonna pair your unit to the app. The unit actually supports both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So if you can use the app while you're off-site, if you're at the park or something, 
So here in the dashboard of the app, you have your inputs where you see how much power is going into the unit. And then you have your output and you can see how much power is being distributed to your devices. So I have total AC output that shows you how much output the outlets are putting. And then there's the DC part under car outlet where you have your USB A ports and your USB C ports. And it even shows you exactly how many Watts each port is using. Now I can go into the device's individual settings. And here, for example, I have a battery protection option. And what this will do is it will give me a reserved level of battery before the power station shuts off. But in this case, I'm just gonna set it to a 10% protection. So when the power station hits 10%, it will turn itself off. The next option we have here is AC charging speed. So this is where you will select if you want the fastest charging available, 1500 watts, you're gonna select fast charge there. There's also a normal and slow charge, and that's just gonna take a little bit longer for your power station to charge. The next option we have here is output power. Now, you actually have different levels of power that the power station can be set to. You can have it max out at 1.5, 1.8, or two kilowatts of power. When you're at the two kilowatts, this will actually exceed two kilowatts of power for a brief moment, there's an auto standby feature, so if all your devices, let's say, are charged or they're not being used, and it's been two hours since the battery has been pulling any power from devices, it will automatically shut itself off. There's also an option for changing how long it takes before the screen automatically shuts off. In this case, it's set to five minutes. You can set it to one minute or 30 minutes, or you can set it to always stay on while the power station is being used. The Grow Watt Infinity 1500 power station has plenty of ports for anything that you want to power. It charges very fast and it can output more than 2000 watts of power on its most powerful setting. The whole unit weighs 36 pounds and its two large handles make it easy to transport. You can pretty much use this anywhere that you need it dependable power. If you go camping, if you're outdoors a lot, maybe you want to go cook at a tailgate or at a park. As a creative, I can see myself using the power station for on-location shoots in places where maybe I'm outdoors and I don't have an outlet. But otherwise, I'm actually using this right now to power all the studio lights and my desk setup at the same time. If you're interested in learning more about the GrowWatt Infinity 1500 power station or getting your own, head over to the link in the description down below. Thanks again to GrowWatt for sponsoring this video. Take care and thank you all for watching.